Hello, my name is George from Hardware Electronics. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a new and exciting feature that has been added to our latest firmware update for the PDMs. This new feature allows a CAN bus keypad to act as an immobiliser for your vehicle. Uh, this effectively locks your CAN keypad until the correct sequence of buttons have been pressed. Only once the correct sequence of buttons have been pressed will the keypad return to its normal operation, at which point you can then, for instance, uh, start up your ECU and start the starter motor to turn on your engine. So let's dig into how the keypad immobiliser is set up in the Hardware Electronics keypad software. First of all, search the devices and connect to the PDM. And now we want to set up the keypad as normal, so we want to select the uh, correct CAN bus speed, in our case 125 kilobits per second. Go to the CAN keypads tab, uh, set up CAN keypad 1. We have a 12 key uh, Blink Marine keypad, so we'll leave that as it is. The ID for our keypad is 21. We'll set the backlight color to be uh, white slash light blue. And then we'll set up button one of the keypad so that we can see when the keypad is unlocked. So I'll set this to be uh, blue in the on state and nothing in the off state. Press save. Now we can go over to the pass key tab. And here you can see that we have an enable button for the keypad uh, pass key. So turn that on. And then we have key one, key two, key three and key four. And this is a sequence of buttons that you must press in order to unlock the keypad. Uh, starting with key 1, then 2, 3 and 4. So we'll select a nice simple pass key for this example. We'll have can keypad 1, button 1 as the first key. Uh, button 2 is the second key. Button 3 is the third key. And button 4 as the fourth key. Now the pass key will work as well over two keypads if you wanted to set it up like that. In our case though, we're only using one keypad. So now press send. I will turn on the keypad here. And once the keypad has gone through its startup sequence, you'll see that the keypad then turns on with a backlight as we wanted. Now if we press any buttons, you can see that the keypad flashes red to indicate that the pass key that we've entered is incorrect. So if we, for example, do one, two, three, two, it flashes red because we got the passcode wrong. If we enter the correct key, one, two, three, and four, the keypad will flash green indicating that we are now unlocked the keypad and we can use it as normal. So now button one works as before. So that concludes this short video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any other questions, please make sure to get in touch via our email address. Uh, contact at hardwareelectronics.co.uk or ask any questions on our uh, forum on the website.